Welcome back to Mobility, Dr. T, Dr. Bubs. How are we doing? Good, man. Um, you've been missing in action. What's going on? Things have been busy, yeah. Lots of lots going on. We got the uh, the book tour going on. We got the Pan Am Games now in Toronto. It's uh, it's all happening. How's the book tour going, man? It's been great. Yeah, we've been off to uh, to Austin and over in England, so it's been uh, it's been a blast. All right. well, what happened to the hipster beard? Yeah, man? the beard's gone. Got the gone. haircut, you know. All right. That's what happens. Okay. Um, our paths crossed in Boston. Let's talk about it. Yeah, so the Boston Sports Medicine and Performance Group has a great conference in Boston every year, brings together all the top strength coaches, physicians, trainers, um, and a lot of cool stuff. I know that you uh, and I both chatted about uh, Sapolsky's talk, all about yeah. stress. So, uh, Professor Sapolsky from Stanford, I mean, the guy's brilliant. So, uh, one of the key things that, that really resonated with me was the fact that he was talking about inflammation and in terms of athletic performance that a lot of people who have an aggressive goal for themselves and if they don't achieve it and they're still ruminating about it they tend to have this this markers a week or even like two weeks after the race was done so to me that's a, that's a really significant family right you know to be able so to really like massive i mean it doesn't matter if it's team sport or individual sport endurance sport once you've you know you can be disappointed if you didn't achieve yeah. your your pr there but it's for a day and then after that, you've got to really let it go because actually mm -hmm. research shows you that it's really just not good for you, not good for your mind or your body or your performance. So Yeah. So um, now we've got the Pan Am Games. The other thing that is really interesting is the fact that most of the athletes, to some extent, they have some weakness in their lower extremities. And lower extremity weakness is a risk factor for low back pain. So Absolutely. I'd say the only people who don't are those doing the Olympic lifting. <laughs> True that. They are, uh, they are all squared away. But let's see, what, what's the movement here all about? This is, uh, do, you think, do you think there's going to be a steady by the year from now that, that upper extremity weakness is going to be related to low back pain? No, I think it's pretty, I think, I think we're in a good, good place here. I think, I think the glutes and the hamstrings and the posterior chain and the low back are all kind of connected and we've got to be picking up heavy things. That's how we evolved over millions of years and then yeah. you know, the desk is uh, just not doing it for us. So walk us through what a deadlift looks like. All right, now. Disclaimer, I don't do a lot of deadlifts, so, and one thing was, 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 again, um, I'm not going to really demonstrate this under heavy load, but, you know. Yeah, we're just going to walk you through how you can do it at home. It's a fantastic movement, and again, you can think of this as movement rather than even training, because um, you don't have to add load to it. We just want you to move better so that you can feel better, improve your health, and then if you do want to add load, it's really, really great for you as well. And you know what? We broke it down with the squat and the same thing with the deadlift. This is functional. This is useful. This is something you need basically throughout the day, right? Let's see it. Okay. All right. You start in a nice tall position here. You can see Moran's got the bar right against the thighs. He's going to come all the way back up. The first move is really like a hip hinge. So backside goes out, bar tracks right down to the kneecaps. So once it gets to the, past the kneecaps, from there, he's gonna, his backside is going to sit down, he's going to bend the knees, he's going to sit right down. Perfect. All the way back up. So again, that bar is going to travel right along the trousers, so coming down, hinging over, pausing right here, just past the knee. That will be the first part. And then from there, we're going to just sit down, knees go over the bar, sit, sit, sit. Perfect. And then straight from there, just standing right back up. So you can practice that at home. It's a little bit of an awkward motion on the way down. On the way up is much easier. So a lot of times you can start from the bottom and work your way up. So just getting into that, Miranda, if you want to just show them again really quick there, Dr. T, get to that bottom position and just hold it for us. Get down a little bit deeper there, backside down. Good, and then from that position, what you really want to feel is just trying to keep your chest up as much as you can, backside out nice and long, and you can hold it there 60 seconds, 90 seconds, 10 90 seconds, seconds, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 seconds if you can do, and all the way back up. I am breathing though. And that's a, that's a position, if you can get comfortable in that position, it's really, um, beneficial for you. Of course, if you have already have low back pain, if you've got discomfort, move into things slowly. Have someone there to check you and make sure you're in a good position. And look, I think I think uh, if you want to really also to be able to neurologically personalize this move, if there is no load, it's okay to play around with it, right? You know, I think it really matters in terms of what you're recommending if you're doing some some heavy lifts, right? You know, so it is okay to really explore some awesome ranges of motion, right? Yeah, and sometimes it makes you realize how tight things can be and how those limitations can come from just sitting at the desk all day or having to commute, cars, uh, trains, all the rest of it, all that stuff just uh, 
impacts how we move and how we feel. And please apply common sense, okay? If you have any injuries, be, be smart about it. It's an awesome move, but it looks easy, but it's a very hard thing to be able to master, right? Definitely. So, okay. Anything else? That's your homework for this week. Any questions, shoot us a line at the uh, IHI Facebook page. And uh, how's hamstrings. your ability? Hamstrings. Next time? Next time, hamstrings. We'll talk a bit about sprinting. All right.